So you've been studying the quantum realm. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you ask me about it? I tried, Mom. A lot. You never wanted to talk about it. Cassie's just been curious, and we, we gave her some pointers. This isn't exactly ant science, is it, Henry? You know how dangerous the quantum realm is. Yeah, we all do, Mom. Nobody's going to the quantum realm. That's why we made this. It's like a satellite for deep space or the ocean. But... Quantum. We just need a map. And then we can study and explore the entire quantum realm. Never even have to go. Your daughter built a subatomic Hubble telescope in a basement. <laughs> you know, if I had something like this when you were gone, then... I could have found you. You know, I promised your mom that you would only use this stuff when one of us was around. It's really dangerous tech. I know, it's dangerous. What if the cops took it from you, huh? What if you lost it? I didn't lose the suit. You have a suit? Wait, you have a suit? I know how to take care of myself, okay? Trust me, I'm pretty good at it by now. Ouch. Look, I didn't mean it like that, I'm no, sorry. That's okay, it's all right. I get it. I just think you should get to have a normal life. Dad, a guy dressed like a bee tried to kill me in my room when I was six. I've never had a normal life. How about some music? And in that moment, all I could think was, how did the Hulk turn me into a baby? Will I be a baby forever? Am I the Hulk's baby? Dad, are you listening to your own book? But I was ready for anything. Hmm? No, that's, uh, Steve this is the radio. Over that. <laughs> turn it it's off. It's so weird. Oh. Something's wrong with this switch. It won't turn I off. I said turn it off. What's that? Turn it up? All right. A little after that, a raccoon from space showed up. I don't think he knew my name. I was just happy to meet a raccoon who could talk. You're an interesting man. Scott Lang. Um... I don't know who you are, but you've made a big mistake, okay? <laughs> I'm an Avenger. I've called the other Avengers. You're an Avenger? Have I killed you before? <laughs> what? They all blur together after a while. You're not the one with the hammer. That's Thor. We get confused a lot. Similar body types. Who are you? Just a man who's lost a lot of time, like you. But we can help each other with that. beings down here, intelligent beings. I always theorized it was possible, but to be here, a subatomic universe, this changes everything we know about life, evolution, our place in the galaxy. Holy That guy looks like broccoli. You come from above. Like him. He will burn the world to find you. Who? The Conqueror. Kang the Conqueror is the new iconic villain in the MCU. We knew we wanted to go to places that we'd never been. And pitting Ant-Man against a major villain felt perfect. Audiences have seen a version of this character in the series Loki. This is wild. In our film, he's very different. Kang is an infinite number of different personas. And you need an actor to be able to pull that off. And that is Jonathan Majors. I can rewrite existence and shatter timelines. In this film, this is really a side of him we haven't seen. This is his baddest self. 
I will take my revenge on those who banished me. And I will burn them out of time. I think the film is ultimately about how time plays within our relationship. Love, friendship, legacy, Ant-Man versus Kane. This is it. People are gonna lose their mind. You heard of your league, Ant-Man? I just think you should get to have a normal life. Dad, a guy dressed like a bee tried to kill me in my room when I was six. Daddy, is that you? Hi, Peanut. Cassie Lang wants to change the world. I have a suit! Yeah, I noticed. She likes the chaos. She wants to be fighting, and she wants to be in the middle of it. She's being influenced by these superheroes around her. You know, if I had something like this when you were gone, I could have found you. Sorry. It was fun watching Catherine take on Cassie. She just shows up and she's just got it. The buoyant energy of her character was so great. She just wants to be a superhero like her dad. She wants to impress him. Momentum, right? Jump, tap. I know how to do it, Dad. Oh, do you? You're an interesting man. Scott Lang, you're an Avenger. You have a daughter, but you've lost a lot of time, like me. Who are you? I'm the man who can give you more time. Scott, you cannot trust him. I just lost so much. He can give us a second chance. He will bring me what I need, or everything you call a life will end. You may not want her to watch this. We had a deal. You thought you could win. I don't have to win. We both just have to lose. Sorry, Cassie. Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. Rated PG-13 in theaters February 17th. Scott. You have a chance to be the hero and earn that look in your daughter's eyes. When he came back, everything changed. The doorway to the quantum realm has opened. You may be an Avenger, but you have your league, Ant-Man. This place, it changes you. It made a monster who thinks he's a god. I don't care who this guy is. We're gonna go home. We'll stop him together. You think you can beat me? I am Kane! You ready? Ready. Marvel Studios' Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. Momentum, right? Jump, tap. You see what I did? No. You're like this small. Ready PG-13. Get tickets now.